Chances are, you've heard of Hernan Cortes, the great Spanish conquistador, who with just 500 soldiers, snatched what now is the country of Mexico, away from the powerful Aztec Emperor, Moctezuma in 1521. But you likely never heard of Nuno de Guzman, one of Cortes' top captains. Maybe Cortes had a better public relations man, but Guzman was almost as big a conquistador, having led the invasion of the better part of western Mexico, and who for a while, served as governor of a couple of states. Guzman took possession of the valuable lands of Capala, Casala, Concordia, and El Rosario, where built great mines of gold and silver. That's why, he chose Mazatlan, as his port of embarkation of its treasures, although in those times there was nothing here, other than mosquitoes and reptiles, in addition to the intense heat. Some historians say, Guzman's westward charge, was ordered by Cortes as a way as getting rid of him. King Charles V, had sent Guzman, his buddy, and the son of a big wheel in the Inquisition, to Mexico to keep an eye on Cortes. So off Guzman, went with an army of 10,000 soldiers. Having earlier gained a reputation, for cruelty along Mexico's Gulf Coast. For instance, selling thousands of Indians to work as slaves on Caribbean plantations. His westward thrust, was to give him, an even bloodier reputation along the Pacific. Soon, Guzman was known as the Butcher, were villagers in a region stretching from Sinaloa down to Nayarit, Jalisco, Colima, Michoacan, and Guerrero. He was so brutal in all the provinces of New Spain, Mexico. There was no other man, more foul and evil than Guzman. Another report, said Guzman was the most depraved man to ever set foot in New Spain. His biographer, charged him with cruelty of the highest order, ambition without limits, and great immorality. It took a while, but King Charles finally got fed up, with his man in Mexico, possibly with some urging by Cortes and church heavyweight, Vasco de Quiroga. Guzman was arrested in 1536, held in prison for a couple of years, put on trial, where de Quiroga, was one of the judges, and then, shipped back to Spain in chains. He died in 1558, being a broken man. There's a legend that says, that Mazatlan was founded by him in 1531, which is false and unlikely.